Good morning and welcome once again to my home here in Bomoris on the Isle of Anglesey. I'm so glad that we can meet again to pray as a family, an Oblate family. And we truly are a family. We've been praying together like this for over two years. Let us begin our time of prayer together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, today brings paths to discover, possibilities to choose, people to encounter, peace to possess, promises to fulfil, perplexities to ponder, power to strengthen, pointers to guide, pardon to accept, praises to sing, and a presence to proclaim. Your presence, Lord. Amen. Today's reading once again comes from John's Gospel, chapter 10, verses 31 to 42. The Jews fetched stones to stone him. So Jesus said to them, I have done many good works for you to see, works from my Father. For which of these are you stoning me? The Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for doing a good work, but for blasphemy. You are only a man, and you claim to be God. Jesus answered, Is it not written in your law, I said you are gods? So the law uses the word gods of those the word of God was addressed. And scripture cannot be rejected. Yet you say to someone, the Father has consecrated and sent into the world, you are blaspheming. Because he says, I am the Son of God. If I am not doing my Father's work, there is no need to believe me. But if I am doing it, then even if you refuse to believe in me, at least believe in the work I do. Then you will know for sure that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. They wanted to arrest him then, but he eluded them. He went back again to the far side of the Jordan to stay in the district where John had once been baptising. Many people who came to him there said, John gave us no signs, but all he said about this man was true. And many of them believed in him. The Gospel of the Lord. In today's Gospel, once again, the Jews strongly oppose Jesus because of the claims he makes about himself. You are only a man and you claim to be God. Jesus goes on to say of himself, I am the Son of God. The Father is in me and I am in the Father. Jesus claims this unique relationship with God the Father, such that whoever sees him, sees God the Father. St John put it very graphically once, the Word who was God became flesh. Jesus is truly God in human form. That conviction 
is at the very core of our faith. Because Jesus is the revelation of God, the healing works that he does are the work of the Father. God's work has been shown in Jesus. God will always be a mystery to us. But Jesus has unveiled the mystery to draw us into the life of God. He has revealed to us that God is love. In the words of the Gospel, God so loved the world that he gave us his Son. That is the wonderful mystery that we will be celebrating this coming Holy Week. Many of our readings this week have mentioned stones for punishment. Last Sunday we had the woman caught in adultery who was to be stoned. Yesterday's Gospel reading had Jesus' listeners picking up stones to throw at him. And today's gospel starts with the same thing. The Jews fetch stones to stone him. Stones have been given a pretty bad press this week. But we know stones can be, some of them, beautiful. And they can be used to build things. They must build our faith too. So, as we head to that pinnacle of this liturgical season, we look forward to that day when we find that the stone is rolled away and the tomb is empty. Let us pray. Lord, roll away any stone that have hurt or imprisoned us. Give us generous hearts, inspired by the Holy Spirit to enter into the joy of the way of life, of rebirth, of Christ. Amen. And may we all be blessed this day and every day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. And I hope, when it comes, we can all enter into the ceremonies of Holy Week and relive them. And then, once again, we will have the stone rolled away and we will enter a glorious Easter time. Bye.